Hey guys, Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today I want to share with you guys a way that you can save yourselves quite a bit of money on fuel. Now unfortunately this isn't a way to reduce fuel consumption by 10% when you bush hog. Now if I had that product, um, I wouldn't be making these videos, I'd be on a beach somewhere. Well, I'd be on a beach somewhere with a piece of equipment, probably digging large holes. That's Yeah, that's probably what I'd be doing. Now this isn't really a big secret or anything, but everyone may not be aware of this, so I thought I'd at least make this video and share. So when you go to your local gas station and you buy diesel for your tractor, lawnmower, whatever you're buying it for, that fuel is taxed by the government, just as gasoline is. However, co-ops and some other fueling stations sell what is known as dyed diesel, off-road diesel, some people call it ag diesel, and it is not taxed. And so if you can run out and buy diesel that is not taxed, you can save yourself a good amount of money. Let me show you what I mean. So we have a couple 55 gallon drums that we keep on hand just for diesel. And I ran out to our local country mark here and just picked up I think about 100 gallons of diesel and it costs $230 or thereabouts. So 230 bucks at one time for diesel may seem like a lot and it is when you're used to buying five gallons at a time a little five gallon can toting that around but I saved about $60 and buying this 100 gallons as off-road diesel or ag diesel, dyed diesel, as opposed to normal diesel. There's a 60 cent differential right now between normal diesel and non-taxed dyed diesel. And so I realized that most of you guys aren't gonna probably go buy 100 gallons at a time. We've got the three tractors, uh, the three grasshoppers, backhoe, bulldozer. We got a lot of stuff to fuel up and that, I mean, that bulldozer's 45 or 50 gallons by itself. So we'll eat it up quickly, but you guys could easily get a 55 gallon drum. I mean, put 30 gallons in it. No one says you have to fill it all the way up, but over the course of time, you can A, save yourself a lot of trips to the gas station, and B, save yourself a fair amount of cash you can spend on other cool stuff for your, for your setup, right? I mean, do this a couple times a year. I could think of a few ways to spend 120 bucks. So if you weren't aware that they had untaxed diesel for sale, they do. Now don't run it in your vehicles on public roadways. If you ever get caught doing that, I know there's a significant fine and there go all your savings. But anyway, there is a quick way to save a few bucks. Now, like I said, ours is here on a pallet in the back of the pickup. I'm just gonna grab the forks on the tractor here and try to shimmy these into the corner of my barn. And uh, I think they're gonna live somewhere right here in this corner. And then we have a Harbor Freight rotary pump that we're going to try for now. And we did put a, a water separator filter on there. I'll show that once it's all set up. But this thing will I think, crank out about 10 gallons a minute when, you know, full revolutions. But that requires someone to actually stand there and crank it. So maybe we'll be switching to a 12 volt battery operated method at some point down the road. We'll see. think almost everything on the farm has got a full tank so I really don't need to get any fuel out of these but I will set it up real quick and also I want to show you a trick if you don't have a bung wrench for these bung nuts two screwdrivers work so you just put one against the side and the way you're trying to turn crisscross them you can get it right open Sometimes I feel silly when I do this because I don't always get it on the first time, but it's working. There you go. All right. We should have diesel on tap. Now, if we can just make this one diesel and this one beer, we'd be set. Well, it does in fact work. I don't know if you guys can see the side of the can, but I'd say it's right about there. Decently quick. Until you gotta fill up a bulldozer. I'm certain there'll be a review of that hand pump at some point. Uh, the review might be me throwing it out and putting a 12 volt on there. But that's our setup. I think it's gonna work, service well. 
no more running to the gas station to get those guys filled up. What's nice is you can still fill those things up and take them up to your house for your lawnmower and whatnot, but you know, now we got 100 gallons sitting out here for use when we need it. And if any of you are wondering how we got the water separator there to stay, we used some you know, grade A zip ties there from Harbor Freight. And uh, although this is pretty cool, Chris just put a bolt through this piece of angle iron. That's just a magnet on there. So we're not, you know, we're not having to drill into these tanks or anything. So that was kind of nice. So there you have it. There's our fuel setup. And uh, hopefully that's helpful for some of you guys. Yeah, if you didn't know about dye diesel, ag diesel, off-road diesel, whatever you want to call it, look for stations around you that carry it. And uh, I'll put in the description below the link to the website I use that uh, you can look up and search and find what carrier in your area has or fuel, provi fuel provider in your area actually carries dyed diesel. So you might be going closer than you think. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Check back for more because we got 100 gallons of diesel now. So I guess we probably ought to put it in some machines and do some work. Make a few videos of that. See you guys soon.